Hi viewers, welcome to our YouTube channel Mass Insights. Today we are going to discuss very important topic in trigonometry. That is trigonometric identities. Trigonometric identities are very useful in solving problems in the chapter. These identities are like pillars to the building. If the pillars are not good, then building will not last for a long time. Like that, these are very very important to solve remaining problems in trigonometry. So, I am going to explain these identities with the proofs. Shall we discuss? Before going into deep discussion to discuss these identities, we have to remember what is meant by an identity. Identity is an algebraic equation in which it is true for all values of the variable involved in it. I made a separate video on that. You may access that video. I am placing that video as in this end screen to this video you may access then it will become very clear to you coming to examples if if you observe a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square in this a and b are the parables a square plus 2ab plus b square this is called an identity why? Because if you take whatever the values for A and B, you will get same value on both sides. That's why it is called an identity. And if you take another example, x square is equals to 4. Here the variable is x. If you take x is equals to 2 or minus 2, then this will become true. 2 square is 4. And if you place x is equals to minus 2, minus 2 whole square is also 4. So, for 2 values, 2 and 4, this will satisfy. And if you take x is equals to 3, it will not satisfy. 3 square will become 9. 9 is not equals to 4. Therefore, this is not an identity. This is called an identity. Now, coming to our identities. There are three trigonometric identities. As I said, these are very, very important. The first one says that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1. Second one is secant square theta minus tan square theta is equals to 1. Third one is cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equals to 1. Here, the variable is theta. Whatever the values if you substitute for theta, you will get 1. That's why these are called identities like a plus b whole square. Now, I will prove these identities one by one. The first identity is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1. To prove this identity, I will take a right angle triangle. Let it be triangle ABC whose angle 90 is at B. Now I am taking a right angle triangle. Let it be A, B, C and I am taking that this is 90 degrees. Why? Because ratios are defined in right angle triangle only. And I am taking theta here. Then it will become 90 minus theta. These two angles are different. That's why I'm using different symbols. And since this is a right angle triangle, I will apply Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem says that square of hypotenuse, which is opposite to this 90 degrees, is equal to sum of squares of remaining two sides. So I'm doing that proof. In triangle, a, B, C, angle B is equals to 90 degrees. 
therefore therefore ac square that means square of the hypotenuse which is opposite to 90 degrees is equals to sum of squares of remaining two sides this is why because by pythagoras theorem okay pythagoras theorem this is the equation you got now what i am doing in this equation i will divide with ac square on both sides dividing dividing with ac square on both sides therefore it will become ac square by ac square is equals to ab square by ac square plus bc square by ac square now you may cancel this one you will get one that is equals to now i will write square for both numerator and denominator commonly ab by ac whole square plus bc by ac whole square now in here you have to remember the definitions of trigonometric ratios on this also i made a separate video you may access that video also then definitions will be very clear definition for sin theta says that the side opposite to theta by hypotenuse is the definition for sin theta see you may observe that ab by ac ab is the side which is opposite to this theta and ac will become hypotenuse so i may write sin theta whole square as per the definition and also if you observe bc by ac bc is the side which is adjacent to theta and ac is the hypotenuse if you observe the definition of cos theta it says that side adjacent to theta by hypotenuse will gives you cos theta therefore you may write it as cos theta whole square generally this square sin theta whole square can be written as sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 you should not place this square to theta here theta is the variable means you may take any values for theta then you will get answer 1 like sin square 45 plus cos square 45 sin square 90 plus cos square 90 sin square 145 plus cos square 145 for all this you will get 1 and you may rearrange this identity also if you want to sin square theta then i will send this cos square to theta that side then it will become 1 minus cos square theta and also this is in the form of a minus a square minus b square which can be written as a plus b into a minus b here a is 1 and b is cos theta therefore i may write 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta similarly if you want cos square theta as your subject then you may send this sin square theta, theta that side that is equals to see cos square theta is equals to 1 minus sin square theta in the similar manner since it is in the form of a square minus b square you may write it as a plus b into a minus b so this is the first and foremost important trigonometric identity now we will go for the second one second square theta minus tan square theta is equals to 1 in the similar manner what we did in the previous identity we will proceed in the same manner since we are taking the same triangle in which angle b is equals to 90 degrees we will apply pythagoras theorem here that says that ac square is equals to ab square plus bc square you have to write here why because angle b is equals to 90 degrees and by 
पायताकर स्थिरम यू हैव अप्लाइड दिस इक्वेशन इट सेज दैट स्क्वायर ऑफ द हाइपोटेनस इज इक्वल्स टू सम ऑफ स्क्वायर ऑफ रिमाइनिंग टू साइड नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ डिवाइडिंग विथ ए सी स्क्वायर ऑन बोथ साइड एज वी डिड इन द प्रीवियस आइडेंटिटी वी डिवाइड दिस इक्वेशन विथ बी सी स्क्वायर ऑन बोथ साइड सो डिवाइडिंग विथ डिवाइडिंग विथ बी सी स्क्वायर ऑन बोथ साइड therefore this will become ac square by bc square that is equals to ab square by again bc square plus here bc square by bc square i am dividing every term with bc square therefore if you cancel this one you will get one there and this can be written as ac by bc whole square that is equals to ab by bc i am writing square commonly whole square plus 1 now we have to go again back to trigonometric ratio definitions this says that if you observe this ab by bc ab is the side opposite to theta and bc is the side adjacent to theta the definition for tan theta says that the side opposite to theta by adjacent to theta gives tan theta therefore i am writing here tan theta whole square plus 1 if you observe this one this is hypotenuse ac by side adjacent to bc this is the reciprocal ratio of cos theta cos theta says that side adjacent to theta that means bc by hypotenuse now it is reverse ac by bc so you can write secant theta which is reciprocal of cos theta therefore i am writing secant theta whole square you will write this as secant square theta is equals to tan square theta plus 1 if you take this tan square theta to this side then you will get tan square theta minus sorry secant square theta minus tan square theta is equals to one this is the second trigonometric identity from this you may write tan square theta as also your subject if you write tan square theta as your subject tan square theta is equals to this plus 1 comes to this side then it will become secant square theta minus 1 so these are different forms of this identity this is the third trigonometric identity which says that cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equals to 1 we will prove this identity also as we proved the previous ones we will take the same uh, right angle triangle whose angle b is 90 degrees therefore in triangle abc angle b is equals to 90 degrees therefore we will apply pythagoras theorem ac square is equals to ab square plus bc square and you know how it came by pythagoras theorem you have to write this compulsorily that implies to in the previous identities we divided this equation with ac square and bc square now we will divide this equation with ab square on both sides so i will write dividing with ab square on both sides okay then it will become ac square by ab square that is equals to ab square by ab square since we are dividing with ab square bc square by ab square if you cancel this you will get one here now i will write it as ac by ab whole square is equals to 1 plus this is bc by ab whole square bc by ab whole square now how to recollect the definitions of trigonometric ratios if you observe this is ac by ab what is ab ab is the side opposite to theta and ac is the hypotenuse 
the trigonometric ratio sign says that the side opposite to theta by hypotenuse now it is reciprocal of that AC by AB that means this gives the ratio which is reciprocal to sine theta what is that reciprocal ratio of sine theta is cosecant theta okay cosecant cosecant theta whole square you may write that is equals to 1 plus again if you observe BC by AB BC is the side adjacent to theta by side opposite to theta which gives the reciprocal of tan theta tan theta says that the side opposite to theta by adjacent to theta but it is reciprocal here the reciprocal of tan theta is cotangent theta we will write it simply as cot theta whole square therefore this can be written as cosecant square theta is equals to 1 plus cot square theta cot square theta so this is the identity and you may write it as cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equals to 1 so this is the identity and if you want to make cot square theta as your subject you may write cot square theta is equals to this one will become minus that means cosecant square theta minus 1 this is the identity so these are the three trigonometric identities i am saying that these are very 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 important to solve any problem in trigonometry i hope this video has given you some important information and if you like my video don't forget to subscribe if you subscribe and encourage me i will make more informative videos we will meet in the next video until then have a nice day thank you very much